So what you need to look out for is how you can spend an entire session learning this lock that uh, is simple enough in its kind of like uh, key elements, but actually feeling it and the squeeze and the angles and these different things and kind of how they come together um, in the strategy of why being a lock clinching fighter for Muay Cao is so important and how really it works and how it's very different from other kinds of Muay Cao which don't lock and kind of how you shut this down versus the kind of more prying or plying kinds of ways of being a Muay Cao fighter. So um, absolutely pay a lot of attention to his feet, where his feet go is how he does these turns. And then also it's his shoulder, bicep, forearm. I'm gonna talk about this all the time in this session as I'm trying to explain this kind of like squeeze that he creates in his lock. Um, once you feel it and your uh, training partners will help you understand when you have it or when you don't, it's very, very obvious when it's there and a little bit shifty when it's not. It's so good, it's so cool. Uh, we had someone who looked at photographs that Kevin took while we were filming this session. He had put it up and they were able to take the elements of this lock from the photographs and implement them into their uh, Muay Thai clinch training. And they said it just like completely changed how everything was working in their gym, which is uh, to me very exciting that people can take up these little things and kind of turn it into their own. And uh, now here's the full um, session so that you can see really all the little different elements that Cherry uses in those. Uh, he would have been an absolute nightmare to fight. <laughs> uh, he's very strong. He's very sweet. I hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, Muay Cao. I love putting Muay Cao in the Muay Thai library. And we're very, very lucky to get Cherry. Uh, he is the snow leopard elusive <laughs> black shark for the Muay Thai library. เดินเข้าไปลูกฝีมือนั้นไม่ต้องพูดถึงนะครับลูกการลูกเลยก็ได้ต่างๆจะเลิศทองเหนือกว่าหลายขุมนะครับพยายามจะจับเก่าก็จ
He's saying you can't goon too much, you can't crouch too much. See how his head is up, but his upper body is putting weight on the top of Ngao, which is forcing Ngao to actually be a little bit hunched. My head is down, which is okay, like I'm trying to avoid elbows and stuff. But Sherry had his head above Ngao and his weight over him. So I'm just trying to lock him out at this point, trying to get those trips in a little bit. See how Cherry is fixing this? I was just kind of locking Ngao out, and he's like, if you have him locked out, you get into that lock, you want to swim your hand around the back. You understand? So see how he's locked out? I now need to come above his shoulder and come around to the back. เจอรี่ได้เปรียบประมาณสี่ช่วงตัวยกที่ห้าเลิกแล้วเจอรี่ล็อกหมุนตีล็อกครับหัวพันหลักครับหัดไปเรื่อยหมุนไปหมุนม
So Watching how his feet, how he's doing this a lot. Yeah. Do, do, do. Look at how Cherry gets kind of up on his toes and his knees are bent and he can just kind of do these little like motions. So now it's showing with his hands. He's like changed position, like go right, go left, but it's just kind of like pivoting around. So you're constantly off balancing someone. When someone is off balance, they can't throw anything. So you're basically interrupting through balance their ability to throw anything to disturb you. So <laughs> Jerry, Jerry is saying, one, you don't have drunk feet, like don't step behind yourself. But two, when you're pulling them around, their feet are going to get kind of tangled. Yeah, like get that angle around the neck. So he was saying nobody could lock his waist. Because look what he does when Ngao locks his waist. He drops his weight over Ngao's top of his body. So he actually has no power to hold his waist anymore. See how Cherry's just totally changed that dynamic immediately? Cherry thought Nam Kabuan, who one of his aliases was the body lock expert. <laughs> so I think Cherry's like, I know how to break a body lock. <laughs> See how he pushes? He has that hook on the arm and one behind the neck, and he's just pulsing forward. There's no way to break out of it. So now he's trying to point out how the shoulder is like getting into his neck, how it breaks his roop by pushing his neck up. He now doesn't have any power. If you're going to grab someone's body, you need power. That's like a power move. You can't like with no power control someone's body from a body lock. So once you get the head pushed up with your shoulder, the body lock has absolutely no power anymore and you can just kind of like crush with your weight over. I'm so much smaller than now. And see how I was able to change that dynamic by pushing my shoulder so that his chin went up and then I could put my weight over him a little bit. 